Hello again everyone, it is the Black Knight and it's tax day! So if you are watching this and you have not filed your taxes, uh, you may be in trouble. Maybe you filed an extension, we'll give you the benefit of the doubt. But here it is, not only is it tax day April 18th, 2017, but we've been given some fresh jammies. As you can see, I've got some fresh jammies going on that go really well with my flip-flops. And although I'm not planning a whole lot of CEO stuff today, it seemed a fitting thing to wear, as today is the day we got a whole bunch of vehicles from Rockstar and a couple other bonuses. And uh, let's get a hold of this. Let's get on with it. Let us check some things out. Okay, let's take care of first things first, shall we? Let us see here now. Apparently we scroll down a little bit here. Here it is. First of all, we've got the Duke o Death. It's let's read the description because it's just so much fun. It's it's not always clear whether your average uranium-eating survivalist is planning for the world to end or planning to end it personally. And why not keep those options open with this special edition Duke's muscle car? Sure, has the fuel consumption of an aircraft carrier and a headwind. But when the nukes start falling, you and the cockroaches are gonna have a blast. And that is a car that is free. And freeze for me, folks. So we're going to do a little buy it now action. We're going to put one, in, of course, in, let's see. We'll put one in Office Garage 2, our first one. And that one I'm going to keep relatively stock so that uh, so that could be my, my Mad Max kind of wannabe car. But then we get another one. We're going to put it right here in Office Garage 1. That's going to be my main mission car for doing special vehicle missions. It's just such a good vehicle for that. And uh, I'm trying to think how I'm going to paint that. I'm thinking I might paint it exactly the same way that I have my Insurgent. And so that, you know, we can we can match everything up. Kind of a white elephant livery. You know, it could be the baby elephant. Something along those lines. Now we're going to put another one. We definitely want one in Del Perro. That'll be a, a Steelers themed one. Maybe we'll get to do some of these paint jobs soon we'll see if we can get doing done in this video but i almost want one in every single kind of apartment that i've got definitely want one in uh in apartment 42 and let's see we've got one in apartment 42 let's back it up a couple buy it now stick one in uh let's see in the eclipse penthouse i think we could put one in the eclipse penthouse that's probably enough for now. We can always get more later. And if we can't get more later, well, let's be honest. We've already hit the point of being excessive. So why not uh, just roll with that? Now, let's let's scroll down a little bit here. One of the things you'll notice is that I can now get the Marshall for free. Which is one of those things where you can pick almost any flag. Of course, we want to go with the American flag. And we'll just go, you know... Get all American down with our American selves. We could go British. I guess you could kind of pick whatever color you like. To, you know, with the Germans for the kind of like kind of a steelery truck with the, the what do you call it there? Australia. The Australian truck. That's that's kind of a nice livery there. I kind of like the Australians, and I do have some a good number of friends there in Australia. But I think for my that'll be their liberator. For my liberator, we're gonna buy it now. And let's see. Thank you for shopping. Let's see. Now I have to back this out. What was the description on this? A Cheval pickup body with monster truck suspension wheels. It's like having your husband's wallet and your best girlfriend's body in mind. Or just a monster truck. Comes with a beer holder because the cops ain't pulling you over. There you go. What else do we have going on here today, folks? Well, we have to shoot over to Southern... San Andreas Super Autos, folks, because there's some more freebies going on over here. Now, where were they? Where is the freebie? We've already got all of these freebies right here. We've already picked those up. They were free before. We got some sales going on here on the Karuma. But here we go. The Impotente Dukes. Number one, I already have. But can you really have... Too many Impante Dukes? No, I don't think you can. I think you're going to get a couple of those. We're going to put both of these up in 42. We got a green one. Sorry, you may not purchase a vehicle at this time. Please try again later. Why? I'm trying to buy 
a free car. It says... There we go. I wonder what that was. Must be some cooldown timer on the... And then with the blue one. Also in 42. Which I'll probably repaint that one in the in the crew livery. But blue is a good start. Now, let's get back here. I'm sure we can just scroll down. We definitely want... Check this out, check this out, check this out, check this out. A Dinka Blista Compact. We're going retro here. What color do we want to go with on this? Again, we'll probably repaint it. But what do you think? Go orange, go green, go blue, or go home. Um, let's go yellow. Just for the heck of it. Maybe they'll end up kind of a steelery kind of looking car. Let me go back. And then there's still the stallion here. We have to get a stallion. For free. And let's leave it that color for right now. It's going to end up being like a maroon at some point, I think, this one. We have to pick... I'll oh, pick red. Kind of a purpley maroon, I think, for that one. It reminds me of an uncle's car that used to have a Chevelle. Just that color. Good old Uncle Bill. So we're going to do a little homage to Uncle Bill's car here. Let's back out of everything. I think that's all the, uh, the wheels that are now available. But we have more than wheels available. Oh yes, folks, we're going to be making some more. We're going to be expanding the fleet further. This is all the freebies. That's all the I think that's all the freebies. And we can always find more freebies later. Then we'll do that. Let us go down to Doc Tees. Check it out. This was a million some odd dollars because I'm a returning player now. What do you get? The billionaire who has everything? No, after the mega yacht. That's right, a small, I'm doing this before the Mega Yacht. That's right, a small deep water submersible to park alongside their Mega Yacht. I wonder if you can park it next to the yacht. The only drawback is no one's going to be able to see how rich they are when they're 10,000 fathoms under the sea. All right, so we've now got the submarine, folks. And now the last item, the last item, the last thing that we got to get. Let's back out of here. Sun trap? They actually named it a sun trap. That's kind of funny. And uh, no, we're not getting that. They're on sale. You know, these are on sale, but I don't have quite enough to pull that off, folks. We're not picking up a yacht today. Uh, let us go with. I believe it's an elitist travel. If we scroll down, check it out. That's right. It's not the highest performing airplane. It's not called a Dodo because it's killed more passengers than any other plane in its size class, although that's a sad fact. And a regrettable legacy for this otherwise splendid aircraft. It can't turn, it can barely fly, but it will be able to float if you land it just right. And the, you think, well, gee, why would you even want this free or not? Because this is a throwback to great times in Grand Theft Auto Vice City, yes. There's a whole mission based around this plane. Not sold. Again, why is it saying that? Sell it to me. Sell it to me now. There, you see? You can sell it. You don't need to you don't need to go crazy here, yes, Tita. Now, by this point, when I exit out of here, what hey, happened uh, to all my cars? I've seen you ain't been on that laptop in the clubhouse. Mark, I got other problems here. Where are all my cars? I bought one, and now I've disappeared. There has been an error with this session. Great. And I wasn't in a public session, mind you, because public sessions have some issues, which we'll get to in a little bit. Okay, it's dumping me out to GTA. Boy, it stopped me from buying lots of cars. That's what everybody's doing today. Let's go online. You have no friends online. Okay, I know. Solo, baby. Yes, get me back in here. I want to see my cars. If I just bought a car and it made all my cars disappear, I'll be really, really annoyed. Come on. They got to be thrilled. I'm, I'm partaking here as a returning guy. Haven't spent a dime yet. Although we're going to fix that. We're going to fix that. Assuming we can get back into game. 
Come on, come on, come on. Back to the maze bank land here in a solo session. Load, okay. Ugh. All right. Let's get moving here in our new pajamas and flip-flops and... Boss. Secretary. Go to office garage one. Now there should be a Duke of Death here waiting for me. Come on, Duke of Death. There it is. Now, like I said, I'm thinking for this one... Okay, it comes in all black. You think, well, that's a perfect color for the Black Knight. But everybody's driving around in black two cadets. I'm thinking, what if we did it up so that it matches this one, at least in some shape, way, or fashion? That's kind of my plan. And then we'll have the, the, the white elephant and the baby elephant for our two main armored cars. And this one, the baby elephant, is going to probably be uh, my, my main cruising car, especially if I ever return to a public session. Probably is a trick you can only get your plate changed with the iFruit app. I don't have the iFruit app set up on my phone. That's the phone I had with the iFruit app. I went into the pavement rather badly after I took my protective case off for my uh, my son's usage. When we got him a phone, I thought, oh, I'll be careful until I can get a case. Yep, that worked out really well. So, this is the only time I'm going to be careful with this thing, probably. And I don't want to have to pay the guy to fix it just when I'm driving it this far. I can I can force my way through it. You really would pull out in front of a Duke of Death, really? We could have punted that car into next week. We'll get to see that soon. As we zip around here. So I don't have the iFruit app set up, but at some point we'll throw the Black Knight and everything on this kind of thing here too. Zoom, zoom, zoom. This is probably going to be the only one I max out right now. This is going to be the main runner. And uh, I'll progressively upgrade the other ones as time goes on. And we got their clean, yeah. What's wrong with her now? Oh, what's not wrong with her? Look at her. She's just like everybody else. Is we got to perk this up. Okay, first of all, armor. Yes, so I think this that's the whole point. Race brakes, absolutely. Engine, tweak it up, my friend. You got a whole lot more horses under there now. The horn, let's see, we gotta go musical. Where the heck is that? Here we go. It's still a Dukes. So we're gonna give it a Dukes a hazard horn. Lights. Uh, we're gonna go definitely um, Xenons. Neon kits, neon layout, give me everything. Front, back, and sides. Neon color. I'm gonna go electric blue. I think that'll go, go well where I'm going with this. And then we're gonna go respray, yes, primary color. I could do chrome. Look at that. Doesn't that be insane? The chrome mobile. But no, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna go metallic. And then we're gonna give it. Let's see, bluish silver kind of looks nice, but we definitely want to match. Where's the frost white? I know it's down here someplace. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bison brown. Oh, bison brown. There you go, no. Cream ice white. There you go. And you know, you could say, well, it was a Duke of Death if it's not black. In, in Eastern cultures, white is actually the color more associated with death. So this does still work. And let's see, we can give it a pearlescent, which would probably shift it a little bit from the other uh, I mean, red, blue. Can we give it a, a crew pearlescent? Or gold pearlescent. It seems to mostly affect the secondary color, actually. Against that white. You don't stack anything on white. Midnight purple? No, it's... Hard to believe there are paints I still have to unlock. Is that races? Stunt jumps. Okay, huh? I don't do a lot of stunt jumps. We should do that. We should maybe that's you know depending on how things go, 
Ultra blue. I kind of think that might... You know what? I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off on the primary color until we do the secondary color. Which is going to be when the metals category. Pure gold. Yeah, there you go. Now... And check it out. The wheels actually match with the pure gold. I don't know. Should we leave those as is? We're going to have to look. If we, I'd rather put uh, off-roaders on this, but if we can match them. Let's see. That does look pretty good. That does look... I might I might have to forego the, uh, the off-road, you know, increased bounce capabilities here just for doing that. But now, with the pure gold there, now we can go back to it. But first of all, crew emblem. Do it. Absolutely. Show our ookness. The base emblem. I might update the base emblem at some point, too. That might happen. Still, I might have some reference to the classic you know, ook ook incident back in 2007 or whatever it was. <laughs> I'll look that up. Um, let's see. Pearlescent. Now, how does it look against the gold? Do you see any kind of bluish silva and a little I don't know I'm thinking leave the pearlescent off right now just let it be gold what do you need to do more than gold alright suspension do we want to slam this puppy down we may as well for style transmission absolutely let's this hop it up some more zip. turbo kick it now, wheels. This is an interesting thing. Wheel type. If we go off-road. Stock rims. See, I don't know if we could paint them gold. I mean, you know, the, the Amazon looked like almost the same wheels, but with the, with the more aggressive uh, tire. So we can always That's go back to right there. And then, let's see, go back to wheel color. Can we get gold? So you can get gold, but it doesn't quite match. And I really don't understand that. That gold is just not the right gold. That's really annoying. Okay, what if we go back to wheel type? Well, let's go off-road. Stock rims. Stock wheels. Put the stocks back on it. For the look, we're going to go with it. I think for the look, it's worth it. Um, tires. Tire uh, design. Sure. Tire enhancements. Bulletproof tires. It comes with bulletproof tires. Oh, very nice. So they must have custom wheels for that tire smoke. Uh, let's give it blue tire smoke. To go with the ook, ook kind of thing here. So we get some blue, blue, gold, white. Is there anything left? I don't think so. There's only so many things you can do with this. But now, I have got myself a maxed out killer Duco Death. And I think I'm kind of happy with that look. What do you think? Gold on white on blue. It does seem to hustle. Yeah, we'll get the plates sorted out some. Now let's see how far we can go painting stuff. The first thing I think we need to do... We're not going to park it in here. We're just going to go back to the other garage. in and check it all out we've got a convertible over here the stallion all these cars check it out we got another regular dukes two regular dukes the dukes but here's another duco death now this duco death i think is going to be done up as what i will call the ook o death that's right we're going to do this one up now, I've kind of debated on this. Do I want to do the main body in crew color and leave the, uh, the secondaries in black? Or leave the body black? Hey, 
I'll say it again. Right, you can keep saying all you want. Your, your biker stuff is a pain in the buns. But I'm not interested. I'm not spending $5,000 or $10,000, $35,000 a session because I don't want to spend all my time trying to crank money to keep up with it. It's too big a dog to feed, so we're not doing that, Mom. Get off my back. There should be a get off my back button is what we need here. I'll call you. Okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna crank this up because it's gonna be two hundred grand, and we want to save some money here. But I think a respray uh, is definitely in order. We definitely need the crew emblem first of all. Now, how does that look? Ukon black, tears on a river, secondary color, crew. Ukon black and tears on a river. Now that's a thought. But on the other hand, if I go chrome, man, chrome looks really good too. That kind of looks a little more right. But let's let's hold off here. Let's go primary color. What would happen if I go crew primary? Which one do you think is more truly an ookmobile? Hmm. I mean, there is another, you know, there are other options here. We can... Ook, baby. <laughs> there's something about, there's something very Hot Wheels all chrome car about that. And then what would you do? It's an expensive pull on that. Leave it black. Okay, what are our other options here? We could go with the metals. Pure gold. How crazy would that be? And it actually kind of turns the secondary blacks all a certain gold. Is that just reflecting? That's kind of neat. Is it the Ookmobile, though? I want something that says Ookmobile. This is cheap enough that we can try it out and contrast it with some of the secondaries. Kind of gone for a matte gray primer, which is very, very post oh, post apocalyptic, mind you. And that's kind of like the way it sets the black off. That looks like that looks like a work in progress almost. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. And then this, if we go for, let's see, we have to pop out of here, go down to wheels, wheel type, off road, stock rims. And let's see, go with Amazons, which are similar. And then wheel color, black. And then carbon black, and red black. Now I think just black. Oh, that kind of matches right there. Anthracite black. That kind of matches the overall. There's something about it that seems to work there. I think. Yeah, maybe there's a little too much brown in there. Let's go black for now. We can always mess with that. Tires, tire design, customs. Oh, there you go. Tire enhancements, bulletproof. Already got it. Tire smoke. Let's go blue tire smoke for this one too. Um, do we want to put the lights on it? Um, headlights, xenons, neon kits, neon layout, neon color, electric blue, we go with the uku kind of thing. Well, you know, we're so close to having this thing done, and I don't know that it'll uh, take that much more money. Let's rev it up. Another 200,000 to the uku mobile is ready. Cause that's gonna get a lot of use too. This might be this is the one I'm gonna keep at 42, and that's one of my favorite apartments. And suspension's up. Engine. That'll boost the torque. Even though you don't see the things go up, so it still increases the performance overall. And armor. 
And there you have it, folks, the full incarnation of the Ookmobile. It's actually a little more subtle than what I had originally intended, but that has a lot of potential right there. Okay, now the next one... And, I'm sorry, but we just... And that's why they call it the Duke of Death. Nah, it doesn't, it doesn't uh, take a spoiler. Okay, well, this completely annihilated two cars. I do somehow like the gray primer. That seems like it kind of works. Let's see it in the light. Ooh, look at this. I mean, it's it's very, very, very base, that low-key kind of thing. And yeah, I know, the, the pajamas don't work with it at all. But let's go outside. These guys, I'll, I'll give you a garage tour at some point when I get all these done. I don't want to lose all of my monies. Let us call up the mechanic. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? The mechanic. You need something, huh? One of your rides? Let me know. You could get definitely the only thing up there right now. I moved everything down to the offices. And we'll turn our back on him because he likes to work in secret. He's kind of like Colonel Flagg from MASH. You know, he's like the wind. You don't ever get to see him. And you get a better parking spot. Like I said, I'm going to keep one just like this. Just, uh, you know, in the, uh, the, the TV show homage kind of thing. Because, I mean, this does have a lot of elements of the, uh, the Mad Max uh, Last Interceptor. Here. Now this one, which is at my gonna be kept at my high end department. Um, I'm actually thinking of doing up in kind of a livery similar to not livery, in the livery. Best in LS uh, similar you. to my own car, my own uh, let's call it a fortune, my own Thunderbird. Which, if you watch one of my recent videos, if not my last video, it's, you would have seen in that video, but what we're going to do, we're going to go right to respray again. I'm not going to rev this one up necessarily. Primary color is going to be a metallic. And we're going to go for, where are the reds? Red, see, red, no, Torino red, formula red, lava red, blaze red, no. Grace red. Nah, kind of. It needs. A, it will need a pearlescent to get it down there. Garnet red. Well, almost like has a pink kind of thing going. Sunset red. Cabernet red is a little. See, it's in the right shade, but it might be a little too purple. Wine red is almost a little too dark. I think it's probably the closest we're gonna get. So we're gonna do wine red, and then go pearlescent. And now I'll go up up a few scales in the red. Torino red, formula red. I think Torino red on top of it. So it gives it red on red. Still not the same color as my car, but it, it puts you in mind of it, you know? Now, secondary. I mean, I've got a 90 Sunder, but it isn't really a secondary color. But for this one, I'm thinking, let's go back to the metals. Pull out that pure gold again. Look at this. Wow. I like how the kind of the red plays with the uh, the gold. Red and gold play very well together. Ooh. Uh, we still have to compare that with just straight up chrome, though. And the chrome works well. I mean, the chrome definitely, but it doesn't pop like that gold does. It just. Let me tell you, metals. Now, the brushed gold versus pure gold. Brushed steel, no, no. I'm thinking pure gold. And let's see, what other, do we wanna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put a, a logo on this one. The blue is not, it's just gonna clash. Um, lights. I'm only doing the visuals here. Xenon. 
And a neon kit, neon layout. Oh, if you're gonna do it, do it all. And then neon color. Now I'm not gonna do this one as electric blue. Now that's that. Blue, mint green, lime green. The green kind of clashes. Golden shower goes with the gold. Still no, there's a red. There you go. That kind of kind of pony pink. No, we're not gonna do pony pink. Hot pink. Purple, no, black light, crew blue. I should have probably done the other ones as crew blue. I forget you could get crew as a light. What do you think? Red, the red's what matches. But that crew. Yeah, I think I'm going to actually redo the mall's crew. Get that crew blue going. Let's back out of here. Let's see how it looks at night. There it is, crew blue lights on a dark red car. The bang. Beware, another Duke of Death is in the house, y'all. I said the Duke of Death is in the house. Oh, a red light? Not my problem. And we gotta bring this one back home. Doesn't quite have the zip of the other ones, of course, I haven't got the motor done up yet. Floats nice, though. That's like a, a true Duke's a jumping car. Duke of Death coming through. Don't die. Let's see how this one looks in the light. I'm like it. Well, where did it go? They gotta do something with that glitch. I'm telling you, it's really getting to be annoying. That's a recent thing. I don't know why they're doing that. Probably has something to do with defeating a duplication glitch or something. But there it is. That's my uh, style and deep red. red. Even the gold looks red on that. That's just nice. Now we got one other to repaint. That's a really simple one to repaint. This is going to be the the Steeler special here. My racing livery. He's gotta be ready again. You're through to your garage. You uh need me to bring you a ride? Duke of Death. It's coming at you. Get another Duke of Death. Now the question here is do I do this one bright yellow with black highlights? Or Dark black with yellow highlights. I'm trying. I'm trying. I think I'm gonna lean towards the uh, leaving it mostly black. Just doing the secondary. Oh, that's right. When you call it up here, it always puts it on the hill because Johnny on the spot is just so on the spot. So much do go death. So much do go death. Yeah, it's kind of skewing me. I'm a Duke of Death. You gotta know you're looking for trouble if you're dealing with the Duke of Death. Yeah, it's gonna cost me some extra money. Zip this down here. Do I dare just cannonball through there and do like massive amounts of damage? Yeah, don't worry. We, we, we ran into some things, you know. Hundred bucks for the repair. Did, now the respray sure. re is going to be real simple. It's going to be one or two things. It's either going to be where's the yellow? Yellow. And that will be it. It would be black with yellow. Looks kind of like my RE7B, but wait, is this not calling to me? Let us go secondary color. Metallic. Yellow. I think that's how we're going to do this one. Steal her all the way, baby. Woohoo! 
Now, one of the things we can do here, because I do this with my other cars, is normally say, well, gee, you know, the, the, the wheels match nice. But what I do with the... Um, let's see, let's find the wheels here. I did with my, uh, my Elegy, the wheel type, definitely off-road, stock rims, grab the Amazons. You notice the Amazons are almost exactly the same wheel. And we go back on out here, go to wheel color, frost white. Now, what that gets us is it gets us the three colors of the Steeler Nation, okay? You got the white, you got the yellow, you got the black, primarily the black tires, tire design. It's already got, let's put the customs on there. It's already bulletproof, tire smoke, we'll leave that as white for right now. Didn't mess with the horn eye, but we'll get to the horn at some point. And there you have it. There's our, I believe, the last of the Dukes that we were going to respray. Now, there's an interesting problem. I've got all these wild honking Duke cars. Now, you can do just about anything with it. It's just like, excuse me! Hunt them into next week, no problem. It's bulletproof from almost every angle as they get you through that little hole in the window. Bulletproof tires, and it can take a rocket hit before it blows up. Like, you get with the second rocket hit, then it goes boom. It is the perfect car for doing things like, oh, uh, any of the motorcycle gang stuff, any of the MC Club stuff. Certainly doing all the CEO in pajamas stuff that I do, the, the special vehicle stuff. And the special vehicle uh, cargo stuff, is got it's got a 25% bonus on it right now. So that would be a great thing to grab into something like, oh, say this one, which is all geared up. Or you could do just regular cargo stuff. That'd be fine. You could do that from the, uh, the, the CEO offices. And there's double money and double RP on mission contact stuff. And if you do any of the old contact missions, like I love doing blow up over and over again. Wow, look at that thing fly. Somehow that was a fail, I think, because I landed on another car. Did you see how you get this rolled over here? Come on. See, how'd that work out for the other car? Is it gone? I think it's gone. Well, if it's gone, we can try it again. And I like doing I don't mind some of the contact missions. You blow up, like I said, where you just have to drive down blow up a bunch of cars. I've always thought that would be perfect for the Ruiner 2000. We've got those free missiles. Did she get up? Is she going to get up? No, she's not getting up. Terribly sorry that you were just trying to get onto the subway and I was jumping my car, but thanks for the $29. I'm sure they'll take care of you at some point here and there'll be an ambulance that won't be able to do anything. A little blood all over the nose of the Duke of Oh, that's just on so many levels, but it is only video game. Okay, so what we got here is we've got a car that is absolutely perfect. Perfect for public sessions, except for the fact that there's no protection against hackers, and hackers are kind of an issue right now. I mean, and not in like the way that a fun way that they normally, oh, I don't know, make your dead body appear over and over and over again while you're dressed in a Santa Claus suit or put a, uh, campfire in your intestines or if they make a whole bunch of Duke of Deaths appear in your office or just walk around with rocket launchers blasting the crap out of you. I mean, that's, these are all things that are kind of fun, but right now they're doing things like they can make all your, your offices disappear, make your office disappear, they can make you not a CEO, they can make your garages disappear. What happens to the cars? I have no idea. Uh, they can take all of your money away. They can give you tremendous amounts of money, like just sick, twisted amounts of money and, and RP and all kinds of, you know, stuff that would just level you up and level you up. You're being leveled up a level a second. And of course, then immediately Rockstar says, what are you doing? And bans you. So they're getting you banned. I mean, there's a lot of bad things going on in, um, in, in public sessions right now. So it's going to remain to be seen. You're going to have to do public sessions. Uh, with a grain of salt and a lot of caution. Uh, I know that the that Rockstar has been patching some stuff. Supposedly they got the money glitch where they can steal all your money patched. Uh, and some other things patched. And they're patching this, patching that. Hopefully they've got some other stuff patched. I'm going to try and keep an eye on some things. You know, keep my keep listening to K 
chaotic, that Saints fan, um, Mr. Boss for the win, a little bit of brophy. See if anyone says, hey, it's all fixed. Uh, at some point, I might be tempted by the allure of double money just to do a few contact missions and hope that no modders show up. But I mean, they're showing up pretty frequently. And if there's a lot of people avoiding public sessions, there might be only one. And guess what? You're it. And uh, modders, modders like to be entertained. So that's kind of a problem. They want your attention. They want your anger. They want your... Woo! Excuse me, but you're not in a duke of death. And so it's not going to end well for you. That person's just completely ignoring the fact that there's a duke of death here. Can I get your attention? Okay, she's got a bruise, but I mean, other than that. So, I'm not sure what to do with, as far as that's concerned, how useful these Duco deaths are going to be until, uh, until we get some of that stuff straightened out. Well, let's check out some other things here. Let us check out some other stuff while we've got the helm here. Let us call Pegasus. You're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Get me the car. Thank you, sir. Your specialist vehicle is now ready for you at our nearest pickup station. Where's our nearest pickup station for the Kraken? Okay, that's not too bad. Let's go take a drive. Would you believe this? I have I have beached the Duco Death. <sighs> Well, the good news is that it can't take an explosive. For me, that'll blow it up. Okay. Did not blow it off the thing. Great. Did it blow it enough so that I can move it? No, we're completely in the air now. And the police are mad at me. This has not gone well. This has not gone a little bit well. Okay, we're, we're gonna hide in this rich person's place. Okay, they shouldn't be able to see me. And it's only a one star, I mean, they gotta have a sense of humor. There you go. Come on. Yeah, hover around my car. You can do that. Oh, what, they saw me? This isn't going to end well, is it? I was shooting my own car, you fools! If you just kept driving, three stars I've got. And I gotta get away in a police car. But, if I can get to my Kraken... Can we get to the Kraken? disappear beneath the waves. That's our only hope. Well, as always, things uh, become more interesting because they don't go well. Do you have any manners? Someone just yelled at me, do you have any manners? I'm trying to get away from police after I simply tried to use a grenade to blow my car off of a, of a set of shrubbery. Not an auspicious debut for the ook o death. Hopefully that doesn't become the unlucky car. They can't see me. They're gonna see me soon. But if I stop, then the helicopter's gonna get me. I don't care about this car. 
I can't keep it. Rockstar, why can't we keep the police cars? I'd love to have a police car in my garage. Okay. I think I ran over her ankles. We have to get to where is it? Over here? Is it underwater? Where the heck is my submarine? And if you guys don't know, I don't really ever, ever, ever remember how to swim. Come on. Where is the stupid Kraken? Where's your cover? Pegasus? Oh, there it is. It's over here. Come on. There is the button. Shit. Can I swim to the Kraken? Kraken. I'm almost out of health. Oh. Ten feet from the Kraken. Look, at now I'm all the way over here. Alright, that almost was successful. I almost got away from the police and the Kraken. There it is. I might have had trouble getting into it from the water side anyway. This cop's out. Oh, well, I guess we'll find out. No, we're gonna, and I still can't swim. Come on. Come on. No, come on. You gotta get up. Swim upwards. There we go. Tread water. Come on. Pull me up. Oh, my pajamas are all wet now. It's gonna be all damp and steamy in that thing. Alright, we'll try it though. Let's try the Kraken. Because we said we're gonna try the Kraken. Let's get the Kraken going. And F. FFF? F? F what do you do? How do we get in? Um, yeah, close it up. Okay. Okay, so with that. It's actually pretty quick. How do we, um... Okay. How does this look through the, uh, first person? Can we do first person here? Oh, there you go. For some reason, it's very twitchy with whether or not it's in first person. All right, I'm going to point out a couple things here. Let's see. First of all, can we we have we can change the radio, but we can't select the weapon. We can go. We can deep dive. There's not a lot of. Okay, well, these were popping it out of the water here. This kind of seems problematic for getting it, A, back to shore and getting out. Like, we're going to end up just dumping it anywhere and climbing out of it at some point. Let's see if we can take it out to, uh, we'll do the time warp again here. Okay, we're out amongst the waves a little bit. We're getting a little bit of... We've got a little bit of turbid kind of water here. Let's see, can we get the first person view going? That doesn't show us a lot. Okay, here we go. We're getting into the more clear blue water. Let's see, what's... Can we rotate and look around? 
Ooh, we got a pretty reef going here of some nature. I, mean, I don't believe I have any limitation for how long I can be down here. This would be an interesting way to get rid of a bounty. I don't think anybody can do anything to you down here. I don't know, maybe if you could swoop... Whoa, approaching crush depth. Oh, come on, I didn't go that deep down. Well, this is kind of neat. I don't know if you could do much with it. I, I'm really glad I didn't pay a million dollars for the thing. I guess we'll aim for the sunlight and look for the coast. Yeah, that's... Woo, Papa! Well, that was satisfying. Let's 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 drive this onto the beach. Over here. Let's see how that works out. How far how far in can we drive? Before we bottom this thing up. And let, you know, Pegasus pick it up. Perhaps never to be used again. This is the shallow water. There you have it. Now we can take a look at this thing. At least completely out of the water. The Kraken. Ooh, yeah, throw a punch. There's the lights. I guess it has some functionality. Maybe it has to do with, you know, some kind of mission you can eventually use there which can grab things or look at things or do things. Here it is. If you ever wanted a submarine, that's the Kraken. Now what we're going to do is let us call Pegasus again. Hello, you're through to Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? Get me a dodo. Thank you, sir. Your spectacular aircraft is now ready for you at our nearest airfield. Which is where? Not too shabby. We're actually close to the airfield. Run, run, run. Let's do the time warp again. Yeah, it's not too bad except for the fact that I'm on the wrong side of the barbed wire. <sighs> time warp again. Whew! I think I finally found... Can we get in here? Guys? No. What's through here? This is by that Los Santos Customs. It's around there, I think. Yeah, there we go. Now let's just jack this thing. Oh, great. It's one of the one Simeon ones. And so it automatically gives me a two-star wanted level. You know, you ever have one of those days? Well, it's a patriot. Okay. Just get out of the car. And hide. This worked great last time, didn't it? Is there a stairway? something. Open up, please. Whew, that actually worked this time. Okay, so now... Well, you know, the things that you get caught up in... Now we gotta get this to, a, to the respray shop. They probably should have just pulled in the respray shop and gotten it sprayed. 
They won't let you in if you're, uh... That's interesting. There's people out there. I think if the cops are on you, it doesn't help. If they can see you. You have to pull into the respray shop when no one's looking. I don't know if I would have gotten away with it. Far from Simeon? I think it's a pain in the buns to get there. So after all, is being close to the, uh... Close to the airport, we're getting not close to the airport. Let me do the time warp again, just get rid of this truck. And let's see, here we are. Open the door, open the oh, door. Oh man, that's beautiful. And what do we get? $7,500. Was it worth it? Hardly ever. All right, let's grab a car and head back to the dodo. And then we'll do the time warp again. Yeah, at least it's not too bad a set of wheels. There's the hole in the wall. There we go. And there are sales on all the Benny stuff, so I could bring this up and get a low ride it out if I want. Not quite. I'm not quite there. Not, not planned just that kind of stuff just yet. I have a couple other cars I want to do first. So we're going to do anything. Oh, we just you know, when I need to do a gang attack, there are, there's none around. Now it's like every turn there's a gang attack. Do, do I need to do a gang attack? Is that the only objective? Hold up a store, bull shark, testosterone, sea race. Okay. We can, we can do that later. Okay, this is interesting. This is telling me to go back around this way. Which, as we know, didn't open last time. Will it open with a car? Got to be kidding me. Oh, hey, we can go in this way. Stylish. Some of the walls are good, some of them not so much. And should we try... Come on, you gotta let me get to my plane. Starting to be very of these. There's a guy. He'll let me in. Honk, honk. What's going on this line? Honk, honk. Dang. How did you get? Who good are you? God, this is frustrating. Okay, so let's do the time warp again. It looks like I'm going to have to drive all the way around. No, you know what? We're going to go completely ridiculous on this. Completely ridiculous. Oh, well, no way. I can't go completely ridiculous because to get a free buzzer dropped off where I can get to it handily. I would need CEO powers and you need a, a uh, whatchamacallit, a public session for that, so I can't do that. But this was useless. All right, let me drive around. All right. Let me in. Let. Now they won't. Come. Come on. What the fuck is it with you? Uh, open the gate. I run through the what you call the opening. Fine, I'm not even going to argue the point. Just get me to my dodo. I just want the dodo. Just trying to do a video about the new things. Where is they put it on the other end of the world? You know. Once again, glad I didn't pay for this. Because it's just pretty much inaccessible. I mean, it's reasonable and accurate and all other kind of stuff. And they got the C plane. I don't know if the original Dodo had wheels. And that guy, whoever this guy gets his car back, he's gonna be like, "What'd you do to my car?" Now let's see if we can try this out. 
a dodo at sunset. Get in and snuggle in. Dodo at sunset. We're gonna actually take off using the runway. We are clear to take off on runway 17. And that's a number I just made up in my head. Hey, it bounces up pretty good. Let's see, how does it fly? Well, it's not very maneuverable, but it's not bad. Oh, let's see. Should we attempt the sea landing? It feels better than the original Dodo here. I'll tell you that. It's a Vice City one. That was so slow. And we're here we are. We're in the water. And then we take off again. Full of the waves and trap us. A little close to stalling there, but we can probably get now that we're up, we can get our speed up. The dodo. Nah, it's, uh, let's get up, let's get a little altitude here before we do any, any loop de loop kind of maneuvers. I don't know that it'll pull, pull a vertical loop, I really don't. Okay, so we've got a little altitude, now we're over the city, so at least if we crash, it'll be spectacular. And come on, do it, do it, loop it, loop it, hey, it'll do a vertical loop, it'll do the wow, that's, that's really, well, I think I'm going to crash. That's a very fast spin right on it, that's... It was almost a little hypnotizing. Get some more altitude. There we go with the moon. Whoa, I'm almost flying into the ground. Okay. Um, let's see, can we can we get ourselves pretty close to the maze bank offices? I don't know how I'm gonna land it, but. Okay, this would be dicey. And it's probably a really, really, really horrible idea. Can we land it on the Maze Bank building? Can we land it on any building? I mean, it's only a helicopter. Okay, first of all, we found the building. Cut the engines! No, we can't. And now we've got the engines cut. <laughs> but we've recovered! We're gonna stall. I think we're gonna have to put this puppy down pretty soon. Um, I think probably the sand landing. We'll jump out. Let's still go. <laughs> and second time I'm swimming. I'm finally getting to do some swimming here. I don't think we got anybody there. But it wasn't as bad a performing aircraft as I would have thought. You know, honesty. And let's see. It's still on the map. It's still it's out there. We can get it if we need it. I don't think we're going to need it. Okay, there's one last thing One last thing left to try in all of this. And again, it really does chafe that I have to pay to get my own vehicles, but probably there's some real-life analog here. 
Hello, this is Pegasus Lifestyle Management. How can I help? The Marshall Great. American. So it's available for pickup at our nearest location, sir. Which is where? The other side of the beach. Why you make me run like this? How's it, bra? If Gabriela thinks she can have my man, in the world. she's wrong. I'm I can't wait for a real man to come wrong. into my life. Whatever, dude. Looking forward this to getting ripped later. This is somehow so Vice City. Dude. I can't even begin to tell you. And I'm running straight on. through a gang attack. And it triggered it on me. You're going nowhere. I'm going away from this because I don't want to have to do a gang attack. I don't intend to succeed. Run away! Through the water! Ah! Okay, so here we are in the Liberator, in the, in the Marshall America, rather. The American themed Marshall. Now. We've got the Marshall. There's one thing I'd like to do. Let's get back up to the uh, the office here. One of the daily objectives is to rob a store. Well, here's a store. Not the one I normally rob, though. And we're kind of down in the city. I want to rob the usual. This thing does not steer very well. It just bounces a lot. That could make this a challenge. Of course, it does drive over things. Wow, did you see how almost like flipped back on itself driving over one car? Come on. The Liberator wouldn't do that, I mean. So we're back up here. Now obviously one thing that we could do here is use the uh, the Duco Death to do this. But I want to give, give the, the Marshal here some kind of thing here where we're... So here's what we're going to do. First thing what we're going to do is we're going to call up Brucey. What's up, bud? How can the B-Man be of service? I'll drop it nearby. Not real nearby. Where the heck is he? It's not even on the map. One of the things to do is to get some bull shark testosterone. To thinking, hey. That seems a perfect kind of thing to do when you're going to rob a bank in a monster truck. Brucey, you're really annoying me. That thing does not break well. Okay, Brucey, where'd you hide the bull shark? Brucey? Brucey, you're not like a reliable source. Okay, so. By the time I drive back and rob the store, it'll probably worn off. But at least I'll have gotten the, uh... I don't even know what that stuff does, really. Does it make you more resistant to bullets or something, or...? Higher reflexes. Alright, so here we are, we're back. Completely hyped up on the bull shark testosterone. I've already been shot once. You're going to buy something? Yes! I, no. Okay. I'm going as fast as I can! No, please. You I'm can go a little can. faster, be a little faster, a little faster, a little faster, boom. A little faster, a little faster, a little faster, boom. Ooh, what about these? They're not there anymore. Oh, man, now that testosterone's all worn off. I'm oh, sorry, dude. It was just the testosterone doing the, all the talking, you know? That's, that's all I have. Just take it. I will. Now I'm going to try and run out of here before you get a gun or something. Or... Oh, police. You had to go hit the button and call the police. And now I've got to escape in my American monster truck. Which, there's a reason I picked that particular store for this. Is that now, with the police chasing me in my monster truck, 
I can zip off into the woods. Come follow me, policeman. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's a little wobbly. Come on, let's go. Climb those hills in your American library. We escaped. We robbed the store. And that would be a perfect place just to end this video. But there's one more thing that we have to do as far as our daily objectives. As you can see, we've spent about a half a million dollars, or give or take 10,000. And we've made 10,000 back. But we're going to go jobs, play jobs, bookmark, going to races. Where the heck is the boat one? I always do. Delta V. There you go. Let's do that. And the true spirit of... I'm not sure I'm going to put this up titled as a CEO in pajamas uh, video, but it's it's a CEO in pajamas video. <laughs> Let's probably, we'll put it in the playlist as CEO in pajamas. Trying out all these new CEO kind of things. And like I said, I don't know when I'm going to have the courage to go back public sessioning again. Which, there's a lot going on here. Up until May, double money, double RP on good old-fashioned contact missions. You know, that could give me the kind of inspiration maybe you finally finish those stupid Lamar missions which are just terrible but you need people to do it with and if you're dealing with randos when you're dealing with rando calrissian it's very hard to say what's going to happen I, mean, I haven't had a lot of good luck you have to be able to talk with people plan with people try to figure stuff out have people be patient enough to put up with things when things go right and they don't just quit on you there's all kinds of problems as far as doing contact. There's some single contact missions with some solo stuff, but you still have to do it in a public session. Like I said, I recommend blow up, especially if you've got a Ruiner 2000. You just drive up to the place and blow everything up. Drive away. Ideally, wait like I think 8 or 10 minutes here, just like the races, and then you get the most amount of money for your buck, you know, for your time. You know. Per mission. I think you can get about 15 grand out of the blow up mission. Which means it'd be like 30. So you do that, they can, for some reason they set up so it's hard to do it back to back. Where they get reduced money if you start just grinding. I don't know why they don't want you to grind missions. So you do like blow up one, blow up two. Blow up two I think you end up having to do more work. But those are Simeon missions. And they're not too bad. So all we had to do today, was luckily we lucked out, because I mean, you know, a lot of the uh, the daily objectives involve doing something in a public session too, and that's like, oh um, no. No one wants to do, you know. I could, I could grind the money out of it, but we just want to get through it, finish first. Get the 25 grand for the daily objectives. Clickety clack, clickety clack. Here I am in my brand new Eastery pajamas. The only pajamas I didn't get were the yellow ones, because those are the ones I think you had to get on Easter Sunday, and I was way too busy on Easter Sunday to get into this game, and I didn't know about them either. So, okay, let's. No, not into the. I don't want into the pipe. No, no, you you misunderstand. I wanted free mode and clicked a quarter of a millimeter too high. So we hit. Can we hit escape? No, 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 no. We yeah, we want to quit. With that job, boosh, boosh, boosh. special vehicles are now available. Haha, <laughs> yes, we do. And somehow that worked out really well because it put me back in my office. <laughs> All right, and here we are. And now we got the 25,000. They've moved our vehicles back to storage. Life is good. Good to and see I, you, boss. Day and you're still working, working hard. She never, I, she never goes to sleep. I, I'm a little concerned she may have a drug problem, but hey, you know, it's uh, she's loyal, I guess, and that's a that's a good thing here. So here we are, CEO in pajamas with the sunset behind us, or is it sunrise? It's when's the sun? 
at sunrise. It's the sun coming up behind us. This is the Black Knight, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great night.